Good morning. My name is Hong Nam. I'm from San Francisco, California. I have a two-part question regarding uh, how you evaluate your managers. Uh, in your annual report, you wrote that Berkshire Hathaway owns good to great businesses and employs great to great managers, and we're thankful for that. Uh, when you hire a manager or evaluating the management team of a business you're thinking about buying, what are the qualities you look for? And some of your managers were entrepreneurs uh, who started their businesses from scratch when their business models were unproven, and some of them took over businesses that were already performing well when they took charge. What are the qualities of a great entrepreneur that might be different from those of a manager who can be great at running a company that's established but not, may not be able to start a business from scratch and tinker around with a business model and figure out how to make it successful? Yeah, well, we love managers that have a passion for their business. And when we're buying a business, we have to ask ourselves, do they love the money or do they love the business? If they love the money, there's nothing wrong with that. But they probably wouldn't be running the business for us a year or two down the road. I think one difference is that people that create their own businesses, the entrepreneurs probably on average would have a significantly greater degree of passion for those businesses than somebody that was just brought in a few years ago and sees themselves as making a profit in a few years on reselling the business and leaving. I, you'll, you'll find exceptions in both camps, but we've had terrific luck with the entrepreneurs who basically love their businesses the way I love Berkshire. I mean, they, they are not going to let anything happen to their businesses. They can, you know, they'll tell me to butt out if I'm going to screw up something in the, in the, in their operations. And, and they, they don't regard them uh, I mean, in a certain sense, I mean, they know they're part of Berkshire, but but they regard them uh, in a certain jealousy almost as being their businesses, and, and we love it that way. And, you know, we can we can spot it when we see it, and when we also can avoid it. Uh, we have never, I just got one in the other day, some from an investment banker on a, on somebody that wants to resell a business they bought a few years ago. Well, you know, the chances that they haven't, doctored up the figures in some way or trying to sell. I mean, it, you know, they're, it's a piece of meat to them. And if it's a piece of meat to them, you know, what am I going to do with it? So we, if, if we make the proper judgment about the passion they have for their business, uh, they're going to keep running. They, they may have a lot of money in the bank, but they're going to keep running the businesses for us because they love those businesses. And they, they really are motivated the same way I am. I, you know, it, really it wouldn't make any difference what I get paid. You know, I, I, I'm identified in my own mind with how Berkshire does. I really don't care how the rest of the world thinks about how Berkshire's doing. I mean, in other words, uh, when we looked like we were out of step a few years ago, that really doesn't make any difference to me as long as I feel okay about how Berkshire is doing. Um, but I do, you know, that's how I measure what I'm doing every day, uh, not by the price of the stock, but, but by what's going on in the business. And that's what we have a group of managers like that. And there, I don't think there's, well, there can't be a company in the country, in my view, that if you could figure out some way to measure the passion involved uh, in terms of running their business, I don't think there's anybody that could come close to matching the uh, the quantity that we have managed to marshal together uh, at Berkshire. It's been accidental over time, but it's 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 really almost unique. I, I, I think it is unique, Charlie. Well, it's very interesting to think about what matters most: the passion or the competence that was born in. Uh, Certainly, Berkshire is full of people who have a peculiar amount of passion in their uh, love for their own business. And uh, I would argue that probably the passion is more important than the brain power. Yeah, by the time they get to us, if they were passionate but incompetent, they don't get to us. I mean, we, you know, they're, they're not going to be there unless they're competent. But the question is whether they had a passion for money or a passion for their business to some degree. And like, they all like money. I mean, and, 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 and the reason, and they like it partly because it enables them to build the business they love. Uh, uh, but they don't, 
we're not going to see an incompetent but passionate man manager by the time we start laying out a lot of money for a business. Uh, they got weeded out a long time ago, so I don't have to weed those out, but I do have to weed out the ones who, who want to cash a big paycheck and go off and do something else at some time. And like I say, we've had great luck at, those, at that, but we have literally, I mean, we see lots and lots of businesses owned by, usually owned by financial operator types, where it's absolutely clear that, you know, they, they have come in, they've leveraged it up, they played games with the accounting, they, that is about run out, you know, and, and they want to sell it. And, and, it, and interestingly enough, some, fairly often those are built by, bought by other financial operators who think they're going to play the game a second time. Uh, we are not interested in any of those at all. But what we are interested in is lunch, and we're going to have that right now. And I'll see you back here in about 30 minutes. <laughs>